A lion's roar. The primal sound of ancient wilderness. A symbol of strength and pride. A roar which once echoed through the bush and plains from Casablanca to Cape Town. But then was silenced. Hunted into extinction in North Africa and never heard again. In Southern Africa, the lion's voice has grown fainter and fainter, and if we do not act now, it too will fall silent. The last wild lions of this vast continent are on the run. As hunting, poaching and human encroachment have diminished the African lion population by an estimated 43% in the last two decades. Some 20,000 lions remain, clinging to survival in just 8% of their historical range. As human settlements expand, now more than ever, innovative conservation strategies are needed to preserve the little space the wildlife have left. In arid, rural areas, impoverished farmers seek to keep their widely roaming livestock safe. And many who lose stock to lions and predators see only one solution. Kill them. With poverty increasing and access to already limited resources dwindling, desperation makes poaching a viable option. And lions are big business. Skin, bones and teeth carry high prices in Asian markets. And there are more challenges. Drought, an ever-present opponent in these arid areas, causes crops to fail, livestock to starve, and local communities to struggle for survival. A lack of infrastructure and technical skills deepens the despair. When water pumps break down or need maintenance, all too often, there is no one who can help. It's time to change this. The lions are losing this fight and they need our help desperately. Mm -hmm. By building and maintaining livestock crawls and water points, by developing schools and infrastructure, by improving lives, we can make a difference. As Bucci Emicheta said, a hungry man is an angry man. By generating skills and growing knowledge in rural communities, by partnering with willing farmers and chiefs, we can ensure basic needs are seen to, enabling communities to live in harmony with the natural world. Combined with collaring and research on the lions, monitoring their behaviors and movement patterns, and sending early warnings to the farmers, these approaches can be used to save both lions and livestock. These lions roam, and in doing so, could supply much needed outside genes to the legendary desert lions, themselves a symbol of triumph through adversity. Our hope lies in the corridor of safe passage, an area running from Etosha National Park to the Skeleton Coast, protected as it once was, where the lion can once more be king and where man and beast can live in peace, and most importantly, live at all.